Hey butterflies, welcome back. So today we're going to be showcasing Ketsia in TVL2 and we're joined here with Snow. So let's get into today's new video. So before we begin, here are Ketsia's outfits. We have this one, this one, of course her iconic wedding dress, and then we have this mythical one. So let's get into her abilities. So she will be 1,700 Robux on release, and she spawns in with 450 health, 200 energy, and 1,800 magic. But just keep in mind that everything I'm showing you in the showcase is not guaranteed, um, since she's still, you know, in the works before release. But this is her first ability, which allows her to create her blue fire trail wherever her mouse cursor goes. And as you can see, anyone caught in the path will basically be set afire and basically just take damage, which is really cool. Then she can also turn her target into stone and she has pretty cool sound effects and animations along with the spell. And as you can see, snow is now turned into stone and cannot move or do anything. Then this is one of my favorite spells, which allows Ketsia to conjure up two knives, throwing them at the target you aimed at, doing some damage. Then this is the mind fry spell, which allows Ketsia to fry her target's mind, creating this cool blue fire effect around you and basically will do some damage to your target as well as make them forget their abilities or their magic abilities and basically when they wake up they will be powerless and very vulnerable which is really cool. Then we have Ashalana which allows Ketsia to pain inflict everyone around her. As you can see there's renewed cool like visual effects and basically she'll just pain inflict everyone and then push them back and there's also a cool voice line which is really cool. Then this spell allows her to basically conjure up a blue storm of flames basically and it will push everyone back around her and light them on fire doing quite a lot of damage and it just looks really cool and has a really cool voice line and sound effects as well. Then we have Venom Corpus which allows her to throw an orb of pure werewolf venom at wherever her mouse cursor is and it will just inflict her target with werewolf venom so if they have a vampire side they will be affected and poisoned and it has a really short cooldown as well. Then this ability allows Ketia to conjure up vines from the ground and root her target to the floor and it's pretty cool it just like freezes the target and also does some damage and has really cool animations and visual effects. Then Ketia can also replenish her magic by channeling her pendant and as you can see while I'm using this I'm channeling my pendant and my magic is going up progressively and it has quite a long cooldown but as it should because it would be really OP if it didn't. Then we have Avita Xari which allows her to stop her target's heart and if they are mortal they will die or I think if they're a free witch or a werewolf but if they have a vampire side to them they will be desiccated and it looks like this has a really cool voice line and and sound effects, visual effects, which is really cool. Then she can also create the cure, of course. So first you'll need to rip someone's heart out with Dolphin Irritant Core, which is the heart rip spell. You will require a heart, and as you can see when I rip out Caroline's heart, it says you have required a heart. And then basically you can use the spell, and she'll do this really cool animation, and I'll let you guys listen to it. And that's what it looks like. It's really cool. I'm literally obsessed with it. And now you can basically feed this to someone with a vampire side and cure them of their vampirism. So as you can see, if I use it on Catherine, she's forced to drink it and basically she'll be cured of her vampirism and become immortal. The cool thing about this spell that they renewed is whoever you cure, they'll have this little symbol next to their name. It's like a blood droplet with like a green cross in the middle. And that indicates that they've been cured by Ketsia. So basically what happens as you can see Snow is saying if someone else had to feed on Catherine right now they would be cured as well since they have the cure running through their blood which is really really cool. And then Ketsia can also destroy the other side so as you can see she can see spirits lingering just like Bonnie can and when you destroy the other side it looks like this. And as you can see, Snow has flown into the sky, being sucked into a void and being forced to go back to the main menu. So she just basically makes everyone on the other side move on. And then whilst she's on the other side, she also has a few abilities. So she can actually pass through living people and give them her pain, basically. And it looks like this. As I pass through you, you'll feel my death. Sorry. 
so yeah pretty cool voice line and as you can see snow took some damage and then i have moved on back to the main menu so it's a cool little like extra revenge or like final revenge and then katia can also resurrect herself once per lifetime um and it has a really cool animation and sound effects as usual tvl always pulls through so yeah um as you can see you just have to reset or whatever when you die and then when you use the spell she'll basically conjure up a pentagram that has blue flames on it and then you can resurrect yourself and this is what it looks like And as you can see, I'm back to the living world now, which is pretty cool. And then obviously, Ketia, as she is a descent of the um, Bennett bloodline or an ancestor, she can open and close the Bennett tomb as well. But that will be it for Ketia. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.